Earning its name from its favorite prey, the goat sucker, El Chupacabras, stalks the countryside and cities alike. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 scariest mythical creatures you've never heard of. Not all stories explicitly depict Baba Yaga as an ugly witch, but most Russians would. For this list, we're ranking the most frightening, fearsome, or otherwise fantastical creatures from various world mythologies. Which one gives you the creeps? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Jorogumo Jorogumo is the quintessential spider lady, a creature from the yokai classification of Japanese spirit. Yokai offer explanations for things that seem unusual or defy the known world. They are personal and cultural, shifting meaning or appearance based on who is telling the story and for what purpose. Yokai vary in temperament from friendly to malevolent, but the Jorogumo most certainly falls into the latter category. A sinister sexuality is also closely associated with the Jorogumo. The mythical creature is described as a spider woman who can shapeshift into an attractive human woman in order to tempt and devour the living. The Jorogumo is said to spin silk strong enough to capture a man in her web, and she can control other spiders. Trickery, subterfuge, and deception are common themes within the legends of Jorogumo, with these spirits almost always either misleading or misdirecting their prey, in the hope of catching them off guard. You could argue that part of the association comes from the cultural idea that women are out to ensnare men with their physical or sexual appeal. Number 9. Cockatrice you're probably all closely acquainted with the Greek tales of Medusa and how her gaze was said to turn her victims to stone. However, what you might not know is that she isn't the only mythical creature with the ability to kill through the act of looking. Stories of the basilisk tell the tale of a reptile who can murder with a single glance. The subject of our entry, however, is perhaps even more frightening. The cockatrice is prevalent in English mythology, appearing as a bipedal dragon with the head of a rooster. Its eyes, and sometimes even its breath, is said to cause death. Although, interestingly enough, weasels are apparently immune to the cockatrice's power. But it can still be killed by a weasel, which explains these absolutely delightful illustrations. Number 8. Strigoi if you're searching for the roots of the modern vampire mythos, look no further than the Strigoi. Many of you have asked if I'm better off human or vampire. The answer clearly is vampire, vampire, vampire. These Romanian spirits are restless bloodsuckers that rise from the grave and seek out human victims. The Strigoi also possess powers that we commonly associate with vampires, such as the ability to turn invisible or into some kind of animal, and of course, the bloodsucking. There are a number of origin stories for the Strigoi, with varying accounts claiming an individual could turn into one of these creatures after death, should that person take their own life, die unmarried, or simply be unlucky enough to be born the seventh in line and of the same gender as their siblings. Some Romanians were so scared of Strigoi that they even exhumed the bodies of loved ones. You know, just to check. Number 7. Pulgasari We're not sure which is stranger, the origins of the mythological Pulgasari or the real-life harrowing tale of the kidnapped director and his wife who were forced to produce a film on the creature by the North Korean government. <laughs> the original myths of Pulgasari show up in both Korean and Chinese culture with the name roughly translating to impossible to kill. The creature appears as a giant four-legged beast with a clubbed tail and arrives armed with an insatiable hunger for metal. They're said to begin life rather small, as the creation of a Buddhist monk who builds the beast out of rice grains. The monster grows exponentially, however, destroying homes and causing chaos until he is set on fire by the local populace. 
crushing all the cities and killing all the people. How can we stop him? Kill him with the fire. Number six, Bubak. Hands up. Who's afraid of the boogeyman? I'm scared. There's nothing to be scared of. Are you sure? The Bubak is a Czech approximation of the creature, a malevolent stealer of children who's believed to possess no physical form at all, but is often depicted as a terrifying scarecrow with the frame of a skeleton. You know, in order to get his general horrific nature across. Message received, guys. It makes a sound like a crying baby to make you come near it, and when you're close enough, it takes you and throws you in his sack to eat later. Bubak is said to whisk away misbehaving children from their homes and hide them away in his large coat. It's a story that's often compared to the sack man that appears in countries such as Poland, Portugal, Italy, and Spain, the latter of which actually eats the children he catches. That man. No, whatever that thing was. I watched it eat my friend. Well, not really eat. More so it swallowed him whole. Yikes. Number 5. Roku Rokubi The Roku Rokubi is another Japanese yokai monster with a wild and sinister appearance. Well, sometimes. The Roku Rokubi can actually appear as a normal human most of the time. The kicker, however, is when its neck gets ridiculously long and its head detaches from its body. Roku Rokubi are humans who have committed a great sin and are then cursed to become these creatures. That's when things get weird. There are some stories that associate Roku Rokubi with night attacks, specifically stories of the Nukekubi variety, whose heads were said to leave their bodies in search of victims to drink blood from. This behavior can also be observed in other monsters from countries like Thailand, Indonesia, and Malaysia, with the heads of these beasts detaching from their bodies and flying around with their entrails still connected. <laughs> Number 4. La Segua Lounge lizards and pub crawlers beware, for that next one-night stand you have may just be with La Segua. This Nicaraguan legend is a cautionary tale against premarital sex. The men are so frightened by the image of whatever this thing is whenever it truly reveals itself that they actually become impotent. La Segua's origins stem from the story of a woman abandoned by a man she had intercourse with before marriage. The legend says he promised to wed her after the fact, and his lie causes her to go insane. Now she forever seeks out victims for revenge. It will stop driving down those roads by asking them for help, and when the specter gets into their vehicle, it will reveal its monstrous appearance with the horse's head and rotten flesh. Those unlucky enough to encounter La Segua rarely live to tell the tale, since the creature's true face is that of a skeleton horse with frightening eyes, the gaze from which her victims are driven to madness. Her face grew long and horse-like, and her eyes became a piercing red. Number 4. Chupacabra The Chupacabra is another mythological creature closely associated with the attributes of vampires, although this beast of Puerto Rican origin tends to primarily attack animals and livestock. Ducks, rabbits, chickens, pigs, and yes, goats were all said to have been killed by a grotesque creature. The word chupacabra translates to goat sucker in Spanish and is described to have an appearance ranging from that of a small reptilian to that of a hairy bear with sharp spines. Anecdotal sightings range from places like Russia, Chile, and Puerto Rico, all the way to the USA's very own state of Maine. Reports of El Chupacabras occur everywhere from Puerto Rico, where it actually originated, to Maine. The chupacabra is also a unique entry on this list due to its comparatively modern origins, with stories detailing their habitual blood drinking and animal slaying only dating back to the mid-1970s and gaining steam during the 90s. I'm a chupacabra, legendary creature, tiny ass goat, you know I'm gonna eat ya! Number 2. Alp You may never have your same old boring nightmares again after seeing the creatures described in this entry. 
Both the Bachtag and the Alp are manifestations of sleep paralysis. But when these troll-like creatures take their true form, they become architects of nightmare and sleep paralysis. They're malicious creatures that typically sit on the chests of sleeping victims, preventing them from breathing. The Alp and the Bachtag are said to cause nightmares during their attacks, and are sometimes also associated with an incubus or succubus, though that's not as common. They're said to steal blood or breast milk from their victims. All victims, that is, if you weren't creeped out enough. Their mischief is akin to that of elves, and Alps will do things like steal and reapply a dirty diaper upon an unsuspecting baby when the parent isn't looking. Eventually, he escaped his captors, but only after he made the family miserable by not only plaguing their sleep with nightmares, but also killing all of their plants and constantly switching out fresh baby diapers on their infants with previously soiled ones. Gross. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Baba Yaga a forest witch known to kidnap children. Baba Yaga was once more goddess than witch, who reigned over time, life, death, and the elements. Ogo Pogo, Canada's answer to the Loch Ness Monster. In 1992, a vast shape filmed under the murky water in Okanagan Lake was suggested to be the legendary beast. Ushioni, a sinister hybrid beach-dwelling monster that attacks fishermen. La Llorona, a.k.a. The Weeping Woman. Mom, mom, mom. <laughs> Hützlong, a giant primordial snake. This beast is said to be a mistake of the gods that somehow survives to this very day, hidden deep in South Africa. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Mananangal If you thought the Roku Roku bee's habit of detaching its head was weird, just wait till you get a load of the Mananangal. The name Mananangal comes from the Filipino word meaning to remove or to separate. This creature from the Philippines actually separates its entire torso in two before growing giant wings and going out on a nocturnal hunt for blood. Her true nature is revealed at night. When her arms convert to wings, her torso divides, and she flies under the cover of darkness, looking for human victims. The Mananangal's vampiric behavior often focuses on pregnant women, and they'll use their long tongue to suck the fetus's heart while the mother is asleep. Luckily, the Mananangal also seems to possess the same weaknesses that vampires do. So garlic and holy water will do the trick, should you ever encounter one. To prevent the monster from going back to her normal human form, one can sprinkle ashes, vinegar, spices, garlic, or salt onto her lower body stump, which will prevent her from becoming whole again. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.